Hello friends, in this video I will tell you some important VS Code settings and extensions that will help you to decorate your VS Code and will help you in filter development. So first of all, you have to install this Dart extension that is very important and this filter extension. These are very important, you have to install these two and uh, this one one dark pro so one dark pro is a theme extension for vs code so you have to install this i have already installed but i will enable this so you can see here the theme of vs code has changed changed and it's very beautiful and you can change here theme these are the one dark pro these are dark themes so most developers like these dark themes uh, and uh, as I love these themes and uh, there is uh, one other extension that is a material icon theme theme this is uh, for icons uh, of this uh, VS code so you can see here there is no icons for folders and uh, no beautiful icons for any files so when you enable this uh, or install this uh, you will get uh, these uh, beautiful icons so you can see here so this is best uh, extension for uh, icons uh, so you can see here these icons uh, are very beautiful and uh, let's move to the next extension uh, that is rainbow brackets but uh, these uh, functionality and uh, these uh, rainbow these brackets colors are now comes in built in in vs code so you don't have to install these and the uh, most uh, important one is this error lens so error lens will help you to show the errors or warnings uh, and it will also give you hints uh, in your code when you do some mistake so enable this so when you move to this uh, so if i delete this one so it's showing errors and you can see here it's showing that type error and here it's showing comma error and here it is showing a semicolon error because I have deleted this bracket so, so if I delete this one so it's showing the named parameter body is not defined so because this is not ending here so you have to end this bracket here and it's also showing expected to find comma so put here so this is a very important and you can see when I change the I use this one dark pro theme the color of my code filter code has been changed and it's now very beautiful and uh, you can also use this one filter widgets uh, snips uh, but uh, mostly snips uh, will come built in in VS code when you install filter and a dart so when I write STF so it's showing me filter straight for widget when I click this it will gen generate this wall code So mostly viewers ask me which extension use for tree decoration. That is not any extension. It is some setting. So search here. Filter. UI. So this is a preview filter UI guides. And a custom tracking. Enable these two. So reload this one so reload your vs code now you will see their three lines will show here so you can see these are three lines are showing here and you can see also here these three lines are showing so this is very important uh, you have to do this uh, it will uh, help you a lot 
so mostly viewers ask me now i am telling this and uh, there is one uh, another setting uh, so go to settings uh, and search here f format so that is uh, format on save N enable this one so when you are writing code you don't follow the decoration of the or format of this code so you write just like that so if i do this one so you can see here my code is not formatted or decorated so i enable the setting format on save so when i click on save it will automatic decorated and formatted so this is very important when you do your code you can speed up your code so you don't have to waste time on the decoration or format of the code and uh, i have told you about error lens but uh, it has also other functionality oh here this one error lens uh, enable diagnostic levels so i have only used this error and there is other warning info and hint so you can also edit these it will also show you suggestion info and warning on development but i use this only for errors so for example so showing me name non constant identifier using lower camel case so even i do this it will be hide so these are the some extensions and settings so you can do in your vs code so that's all for today thanks